constant and this is the kind of night we're in and you know in store for yeah i just actually tweeted out an image that was caught um of the twin tornadoes it is just incredible uh, to is see that the Arkansas the, one or the, iowa, the iowa okay. ones um we've been talking about uh, quite a bit the situation near iowa city and we have multiple areas of rotation near there it does look like we had some rotation very near iowa city this is eastern iowa um actually i'm just going to zoom out just a little bit real quick just so you have a better idea of where this is okay here's interstate 35 is right here um, and that is the Mississippi River that rolls on through um, right there so we'll take you in to where we have our tornado warning and um, that does include you in Iowa City right now but as I look at the latest warnings and where the circulation is right now it does look like the rotation is north of Iowa City so tornado warnings observed yet again so a confirmed tornado for Cedar and Johnson County including you in West Branch and then another of observed and confirmed tornado basically twin tornadoes here almost again for cedar johnson and lynn counties until 5 15. so i'm going to take you over to uh, velocity mode and this is where we have uh, the two different areas of rotation so we've got one right here um, just north of interstate 80 near west branch where we have a tornado on the ground and then we've got another one right in here north of north liberty and very near um one this i believe is a county road one right there so here's Iowa City a lot of folks are familiar with that this is interstate 380 and this is interstate 80 right there and this is the one um, west of uh, West Branch that is that is extremely concerning right now these are both moving very very quickly so I want to do a quick uh, timer on these for you and give you a better idea of uh, what towns might be affected Oasis at 511 Cedar Bluff at 517 and Mechanicsville at 525 so that's about 50 15 minutes for now. Then the second area of rotation and tornado, uh, very near Solon right now. You need to be in your safe place. That is heading towards Mount Vernon at 519. So you have less than 10 minutes, Mount Vernon, to get to your safe place uh, right now. So here's another issue that's going to be ongoing. In addition to those uh, tornado warnings that we have in this line, I'm going to zoom back in very closely. Look what's happening right back here. We've got another line of severe thunderstorms that has developed. And this line is capable of producing damaging winds. Now, one of the issues we have in here, we've had some periodic tornado warnings associated with that line um, right in here. Right now, they're all severe thunderstorm warnings. But look at where the radar is here in Davenport. That radar beam has to punch through those storms and then try and detect these storms. So it's not always quite as accurate of a depiction of what's happening because that can take away a little bit um, from that. So it's kind of one of those touchy areas. If we try and go over to the Des Moines radar, maybe we get a better picture of what's going on there, but certainly looks like we've got some good hail north of uh, Belle Plaine across that region once again. So a very large area into eastern Iowa, uh, confirmed tornadoes on the ground near West Branch and very near Salon. So both of that areas. Now we also have have new development here all right this is what's been happening near the st louis area and you know i can't get to every tornado warning right now because chris has got the emergency and we need to get back to that but st louis i cannot stress and emphasize enough that we have supercells that are just your south and west that are heading towards the st louis metro area st louis you need to be where you're going to be before you ride out these storms right now and